Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for June the 12th of 2020, well, it is titled NGC 2359, Thor's Helmet. So what do we see here? Well, this is a nebula, sometimes known by the popular designation of Thor's helmet, perhaps looking like a great winged helmet for the Norse god. Of course, it's much, much larger than Thor's helmet, being 30 light years across. So, tremendous in size. Uh, but this is an example of a nebula, and the bluish glow that we see is caused by oxygen atoms. And these are sp specific types of oxygen atoms, atoms because of the high amount of energy involved here. The hot star at the center is exciting the gases around it. And in fact, it excites the oxygen gas so much that the oxygen atoms have two electrons stripped off. Now, normally an oxygen atom would have eight electrons on around it, but these oxygen atoms only have six, and that gives a different pattern of glow to the nebula and causes the distinct blue color that we see here from that ion uh, oxygen, which has been ionized twice. Now, at the center of this is a very hot star known as a wolf Rayet star, and that is an example of a very hot blue star and is the type of star that we do expect will eventually become a supernova. So this is the pre-supernova stage, and eventually, maybe in the, in the somewhat near future, meaning hundreds of thousands to millions of years for an astronomical object, that it will eventually explode and tear itself apart. Now, what happens to these massive stars is that they are fusing elements at their core. Now, our sun fuses hydrogen into helium and can do that comfortably for 10 billion years. However, the more massive a star, the quicker it uses up its energy and the quicker it goes through its life. So these very massive stars not only fuse hydrogen to helium, but quickly use that up, and then we'll start fusing helium into carbon and oxygen and neon, and so on up through the periodic table to iron. And it turns out when you get to iron that there is no more energy to be had. So once you get to iron, it is not possible to fuse iron and gain energy. You can fuse iron atoms, but it takes energy. And eventually when that happens and the core of the star builds up to be iron, it becomes unstable and implodes, collapsing downward. And the corresponding rebound afterwards becomes the supernova explosion that we will see. So perhaps hundreds of thousands, millions of years from now, we will see a supernova where this star is today. So that was our picture of the day for June the 12th of 2020. It was titled NGC 2359 Thor's Helmet. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.